Hey there, how you doing? This is Carvel Baby. And what I do is I help parents, student athletes, save money on college by getting their student athletes a college scholarship. So, just got done reference. Another beautiful day today. And what I want to talk about today is uh, I want to take a page out of my own book. My own book with the college recruitment triangle. You know, I always talk about uh, your attitude is the most important, and then your academics, and then your aptitude. So, uh, three key points that I want for parents to understand, and please share this with your um, athlete. So, the first, the first uh, issue or the first incident was with a student. Uh, my partner called a call on him, and uh, his coach called him to try to correct him. He waved the coach off, and then his parent called him. He looked over at his parent, and the parent said, your coach is talking to you, and then he waved the parent off again. The easiest way to get lined out, to stop getting recruited, is having a bad attitude, right? Like Because the coaches are sitting on the sidelines also watching you, and they're watching everything, just not how you play, right? So you have to have a good attitude. You have to have a great attitude. Um, the second step, or the second thing, is with being a student athlete, being a student athlete. Being a student athlete doesn't always mean just with your books, but be a student of the game. Are you a student of the game of basketball? And so here's, here's what I mean. After you make that pass the first time with one hand and you can't pull it back, you can't make it no more with one hand, right? Um, one hand passes are the kind of, they, they look the best, but they are really the worst type of passes because you can't pull that ball back, um, once it's in one hand. So you want to make sure of that. Also, if a team is playing a zone, if a team is playing a zone, get out of the way before I get hit. If a team is playing a zone, um, parents, you want your athletes, you want to be able to talk to your athletes, get them to understand how to play in the gap. You have to be playing the gaps of the zone so you have to know what the defense is giving you or on defense you have to know what the offense is doing and you have to be able to adjust you have to be a, a great student of the game just like a great student in the classroom the third thing the third thing is just with the aptitude all right the aptitude you have to be aware of how many timeouts you have you have to be aware of um, like the team files, you have to be aware of all those things that no one else is paying attention to. All right, um, that's uh, like like huge. And I'm still talking about uh, being a student athlete. That's huge. Now with the aptitude, all right, because I think I just said it. But with the aptitude, with how you play, um, you have to be able to play the same way each and every time you step on the court. Right, you have to be the same way each and every time you step on the court, um, or better. You have to be able to be that or better. And so I saw a young man today that I haven't seen in about two years, and I told him, I said, your jump shot looks much better today than it did the last time that I saw you. He was like, thank you. Well, are you working? When it's your time, are you working or are you not working? So you want to definitely be able to have um, a great attitude. You want to be a student of the game and your aptitude, right? You you should get better each and every time you step on the court, each and every day that you want to play this game because there's so many people that's looking to play and what's going to set you apart from them. All right, so I hope this helps. Again, um, if you haven't checked out my free case study video, go check it out at b2bsdhoopsmastery.com. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace.